Time once again for Weird Stuff in a Can. And when is a can of beer not a can of beer? Well, when it's a can of chocolates. So these are Guinness chocolates. I picked these up in the post-Christmas sale in Mole Country Store. They actually had some interesting other things in metal boxes, which I did think about picking up, but they were a little bit expensive. They had some biscuit tin type of tins with little kits to build like a Lego space station or a princess fairy castle or, or sew your own unicorn. If the unicorn one comes down in price, I might be tempted. Anyway, these are Guinness chocolates. I'll tell you one thing that is weird is this sale label. This little segment was recorded before all the others, which is why the label's still on the can. I was kind of confused about what's going on here. Was 541 now 405? Was 649 now 486? Except these are X VAT prices. These are including VAT prices. So this has got tax in it. That hasn't. As to why these have got the dual pricing, Mole Country Stores is a kind of wholesaler, I think, of animal feeds and lots of farming equipment and that sort of thing. So I think there's quite a lot of people have a trade account and buy stuff there for businesses and presumably it's charged directly to the business and the vat is taken care of kind of internally. Anyway, back to the contents. Ingredients, dark chocolate truffles with a Guinness beer flavoured centre. Now it says flavoured and it says flavoured here as well, which means it must contain Guinness. If it said flavour in the UK, it could contain anything, but if it says flavoured, it must contain the actual article that it's flavoured from. Ingredients, sugar, cocoa mass, vegetable fat, palm, rapeseed and sunflower, cocoa butter, glucose syrup, water, dried whole milk, dried skim milk, flavourings, contains barley. Dextrose, Guinness beer, 1%, contains barley and gluten. Humectant, which is sorbitol syrup, neutral spirit, emulsifier, soya lecithin, preservative sorbic acid, barley malt extract, dark chocolate, contains cocoa solids, 52% minimum. This product contains alcohol, 0.5%, not suitable for children. 1% Guinness, it's got 1% Guinness in there and then it's got barley malt extract and neutral spirits. So it's just got kind of pure alcohol and some barley malt to make it taste a bit more Guinnessy. Uh, I think that's a bit of a con really, putting 1% Guinness in the filling in the chocolates, just so you can call it Guinness truffles. I think that's a bit of a rip off personally but never mind. Anyway, it looks like a pull tab can, but it's not a pull tab can. Uh, and I don't think I can open this with a can opener either because it's just another one of these cans, very much like those tool kits where the lid just pops off. And the Guinness truffles are inside. So let's have a look at one. So they remind me a bit of uh, Lindor balls. I think I'll just taste one first and then we'll cut one in half and have a look. So quite crisp dark chocolate shell, very sweet, almost like fudge-like interior, but softer than fudge. They taste really weird. They taste really strange. If you were to ask me what these are flavoured with, if I'd not been told this had been Guinness, I don't think I'd have guessed Guinness. I think I would definitely would have guessed that there's a malt or brewing type of thing in here. It tastes a tiny little bit like Marmite. Of course, that shouldn't be a surprise because Marmite is made from brewery wastes. It's made from the yeast left over from brewing beer. But they do taste like sweetened Marmite. I'm just going to taste that filling on its own. Yeah, really weirdly malty, dark, bready sort of flavour. Rather than Guinness, which I am very familiar with the flavour of, they taste like bran flakes or rivita or something like that. They taste like they've got a really grainy taste. Hmm. So yeah, I don't think, I think it's a, a bit of a stretch to call these Guinness chocolates. They are technically Guinness chocolates, but gosh, did they really kind of stretch that a bit. 
I don't think there's much more I can say about this. They taste weird. So I guess they qualify for weird stuff in a can. It was going to be stuff in a weird can because that is a bit of a weird can. But I think these do actually qualify for weird stuff in a can on account of the fact that they just taste, they taste weird. They're very sugary. They taste of really, really high fiber brown bread. And yeah, I don't know. They're curious because they're, they're the kind of thing where they're not necessarily that enjoyable. I'm gonna cut, cut this one in half again, just so you can see the inside again. So let's have a really close look at that. And yeah, so this filling is kind of, um, it says ganache, but it's, it's, that's really more of a very soft fudge, almost caramel type of texture there. I also did forget to say, let's have a sniff. So let's do that now. Yeah, they actually smell more like Marmite than they taste. But do you know what? These are fun in the sense that they're so, the flavor is so odd that you kind of want to just have another one to see if you were really imagining it or if it really happened. So there we go, Guinness chocolates. Kind of weird stuff in a kind of weird can on Atomic Shrimp. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.